Okay, we're going to take a look at solving trigonomic equations. Okay, how would you solve this question? You would take negative 1 to the other side, that would be plus 1, so you'd have 2x equals 1, divide both sides by 2, so you have x equals 1 half. Trigonomic equations are the same exact thing. As a matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the trigonomic function with x. So let x equal sine x. So when you see sine x, you're going to put x. Do you see this is the exact same question? So that means x is equal to 1 half. What's x again? Sine x. So sine x equals 1 half, and that's how you solve trigonomic equations. So where is sine equals to 1 half on the unit circle? And by the way, this is only in one revolution because it's a 0 to 2 pi. All right, so cosine is the first one, sine is the second. So looking at sine, there's 1 half pi over 6. Okay, keep going around the circle, looking for 1 half. There you go, 5 pi over 6. Keep going around the circle. It has to be positive 1 half. That's negative. No, that's negative. So those are my two answers. They don't restrict you to only one revolution. What do you do then? Well, what it is, is you take your first two answers, so that's pi over 6, so x equals pi over 6, and then you add 2 pi times n. Remember, 2 pi is one revolution, and then n is the number of times you're going around the circle. So 2 pi is 1, which is what we just found, but if you're going twice, so it was 540, it will be 2. So you have your two answers plus 2 pi n, where n has to be a whole number, or an integer number. Okay, so if they give you questions that exceed one revolution, you use these formulas with your answers. All right, let's take a look at another example. Just a listening check. Put a box around example three. All right, so we're going to factor just like we did before. Okay, so we're going to circle, that's A, circle, that's B, circle, that's C. Do not forget your symbols. Draw the X game. Um, A times C is 2, and it adds to the middle, which is 3. So what two numbers do that? So let's try 1 times 2, right? That works here. All right, they're both positive, so 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 plus 2 is 3. That works. All right, divide by A, which is 2. That's equal 1 half, and that's equal 1. All right, then remember if it's um, a fraction, then remember if it's a fraction, you put the denominator in front of the X, and then the numerator by itself. And if it's a whole number, it's just X plus 1. All right, then solve for um, each parenthesis. You have 2X plus 1 equals 0. X plus 1 is 0. All right, move the positive 1 to the other side, it's negative 1, that's 2x equals negative 1, divide by 2, x equals negative 1 half. Correct that, because I made a mistake. Take the 1 to the other side, minus 1, so x equals minus 1. So solving trig functions is the same as solving regular equations. Let's replace cosine x with x. That's going to be 2, and then we have cosine squared, so that's going to be x squared, plus 3, cosine x, which is x, plus 1 equals 0. Notice that's the one I just solved, right? So I'm just going to say that x is equal to 1 half, or x is equal to negative 1, which means cosine of x is equal to 1 half, or cosine of x is equal to negative 1. Now I'm going to look in the unit circle, it's one revolution, so around the whole unit circle where cosine is equal to a half and negative 1. Cosine, remember, is the first number, oh, and that's a correction, it was negative 1 half. All right, so looking for negative 1 half, there's 1, so let's write that down. So that's 2 pi over 3, again, that's 4 pi over 3, keep going. For negative a half on cosine, and that's it. For negative 1, right there, that's pi. Keep looking, negative 1, that's it. All right, so those are my two answers. So remember, if they don't, if they give you more than the one rotation, you use the above formula that we wrote up here with your answers. All right, let's take a look at one more example. This is a listening check, coloring example 5. All right, so solving, divide by 9. It's going to be x squared equals uh, 3 goes into 3 one time and into 9 three times. Take the square root of both sides. You're going to have plus or minus and the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. So that's going to be plus or minus. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 3. You can have a radical on the bottom, so you have to rationalize it. Multiply top and bottom by radical 3. You're going to get 1 times radical 3 is radical 3. Radical 3 times radical 3 is 3. All right, so that's what x is. So again, let x equal tan x. So let's rewrite this. So this would be 9x squared equals 3. All right, which we found out to be tan x is equal to plus or minus radical 3 over 3. All right, the unit circle doesn't have tan listed out, but we know that tan is sine over cosine, right? So I'm going to look for an answer that has radical 3. So here is an answer that has radical 3, so I'm going to try that one. All right, so it's sine divided by cosine. That means it's a half divided by radical 3 over 2. So I'm going to keep the first one, 1 half, change division to multiplication, and then flip the radical 3 over 2, so it's going to be 2 radical 3. The 2's cancel out leaving 1 over radical 3. Can I have a radical on the bottom? So rationalize it, multiply top and bottom by radical 3. You're going to get, multiplying the numerators, radical 3 over 3. All right, and that's what I'm looking for. So that answer is going to be pi over 6. 
right? I'm going to look for the next one with a radical 3 in the answer, and I'll try that one out. So sine divided by uh, cosine. So that's going to be keep the first one, radical 3 over 2, multiply by flip the second, 2 over 1. So that simplifies to radical 3. That's not what I'm looking for. So pi over 6 is an answer. Because the signs don't matter, it's everything related to that. Because these are the same numbers in the same order, it will work. So that's going to be 5 pi over 6. All right, so follow all the pink lines. There's another one. See, the numbers are the same in the same order. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative since the answer is supposed to be positive or negative. All right, follow the last pink line is 11 over 6 because the numbers are exactly the same. They just change the symbols. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's how you solve trigonomic equations. Less practice.